Today I'd like to talk about a pandemic that occurred in the late 1800s. This pandemic has been termed the Russian flu or the Asiatic flu. It started in St. Petersburg, Russia in, towards the fall of, of 1889 and eventually killed about a million people worldwide. It's still not known for certain what the agent was that was responsible for the pandemic, although it's widely accepted that it was influenza. It was conjectured to be a subtype H2N2, and in 1999, a serological study looked at 50 to 100 year olds who would have been alive then, and found that influenza A virus subtype H3N8 was circulating. But as far as I know, it still hasn't been completely proven that this pandemic was due or caused by influenza A. So this pandemic also uh, reached the United States and um, interestingly enough, it was initially reported in the papers as being mild illness and people didn't have to worry about it. Uh, it was hit the ports first, so Boston and New York were hit first and then it slowly spread across the United States. There were a significant number of deaths as well in the United States. So what does this mean? Could this virus or this pandemic be caused by another virus? For example, could this have been caused by a coronavirus? Coronaviruses that cause human disease can be pathogenic or cause mild cold-like symptoms. The pathogenic coronaviruses include SARS-CoV, MERS, and SARS-CoV-2. There are four additional seasonal coronaviruses that cause human infections. They are 229E, NL63, OC43, and HKU1. All of these coronaviruses have an intermediary animal host. For example, the intermediary animal host for MERS-CoV is the dromedary camel. And the virus that we're going to talk about today, OC43, the intermediary host is thought to be uh, cattle. The seasonal coronaviruses are seen in healthy individuals and they typically are seen in winter and spring, or the highest exposure is in winter and spring. This is a graph looking at um, the exposure or the monthly positivity rates for these seasonal coronaviruses. And as I just mentioned, uh, you see most infections in, say, starting from December onwards to early spring. Uh, the positivity rate indicates that around 15 to 20 percent of most of the cases um, that are seen are caused by one or more of these seasonal coronaviruses. So most of us have been exposed to these seasonal coronaviruses. Immunity is short-lived and you can get re-exposed to these seasonal coronaviruses almost every year. The causative agent for the Russian flu of 1889 has never been shown, mostly because tissue samples do not exist. Unlike the Spanish flu in 1918, where they isolated and did genomic sequencing of influenza virus from uh, people who were in permafrost in this village in Alaska, uh, thereby proving that the Spanish flu was caused by influenza virus. So what's the evidence really that um, the Russian flu was caused by influenza and could another virus be responsible for it? So this is a paper and I would recommend uh, any of you who wants more details to go read it in detail, published in 2005 where they looked at the genomic sequence of what is now a seasonal coronavirus, OC43. And what they found was this OC43 was very similar, highly genetically similar to a bovine coronavirus uh, called BCOV. And then they did very detailed analysis to uh, determine the molecular clock of this human coronavirus. As I've mentioned, uh, many coronaviruses jump between animal species uh, into humans, and that's when they then can be relatively pathogenic. So this is a figure taken from that paper where they redid the genetic analysis of OC43 to see at what point did the bovine coronavirus and the human vi virus start to diverge, which indicates perhaps that, that that's when this coronavirus, human coronavirus jumps species. And interestingly, when they look at the sequences and dated back, the time when it originally diverged uh, occurred around the late 1800s, and that's exactly the time when the Russian flu epidemic um, happened. So they speculate that it's, it's possible that it was um, the human coronavirus OC43 and not influenza that may have been responsible for the pandemic of 1889. Is there any other evidence?
here's a preprint uh, where they looked for the evidence of previous coronavirus pandemics um, using analysis of British newspapers. So in the late 1800s, so between 1870 and 1890, there was a mass culling of cattle due to an outbreak of infectious respiratory disease. The thought that was that this disease was caused by mycoplasma, but apparently uh, bovine coronaviruses also cause very similar respiratory disease. So the thinking is perhaps this culling of cattle because of bovine coronavirus exposed a number of animal handlers to bovine coronaviruses, giving an opportunity uh, for the common ancestor of the bovine coronavirus and human OC43 to jump from cattle to humans. Again, it's not proven, but it's speculation, but it's quite interesting. This happened around the same time during which the Russian uh, pandemic you know, caused devastation across Europe and some parts of um, the rest of the world. Uh, another, uh, I guess, anecdotal evidence is that the Russian flu um, also involved frequent neurological complications. And in, in during influenza infections, neurological complications are not commonly seen. However, in some OC43 patients who are immunocompromised now, uh, there is some evidence of neurological complications. A further lending some small evidence to um, the possibility that the Russian flu really was caused by coronavirus. So it's not proven, it's speculation, but I just thought it was very interesting. So what are the implications of um, this for our current pandemic? SARS-CoV-2 is now pathogenic and causing devastation across the world. But what does this mean for the future in the human population? Will SARS-CoV-2 follow a similar pattern and now and eventually become a seasonal coronavirus or an endemic virus? It's likely that it will join the four other human coronaviruses that infect people with common cold symptoms. And perhaps a hundred years from now, people will look back and say, oh, the seasonal coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 uh, actually caused a pandemic in 2020. So I found uh, this um, po the possibility that Russian flu was caused by coronavirus very interesting. I thought it was worth a lecture. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I do encourage you to go read and find more evidence to indicate that uh, there are other pandemics caused by coronaviruses. So it's February uh, 9th, 2021. This is Anil Jamati. Thanks again.